In a large dark place, like an abandoned hen. So this is interesting. It's in a, a large dark place like an abandoned hangar. What you see here is this looks like there was a war, right? What are hangars? Hangars are things used by the military for the or the Air Force or, or um, airports. These are for transportation and warfare. And what we see here, especially when I think of a hangar, I think of military hangars. Um, and so it gives you the idea that this is something that used to be used for warfare but the fighting is already done. So um, with this backdrop, think of these, these women being all of the, all of, in a sense, the guardian angels would probably be a good way to think of it, of the women, of the people on earth. So these women have babies. The babies are the people on earth who are trying to survive through this life and make it to salvation, right? And what we see is that the fighting is done. It's not happening anymore. It's over. They've lost. All of these mothers have lost. And so the idea here is that we are in a wasteland of destruction, that we are not on the right path at all. And all of the women have, 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 have are, are the, basically the fighting is over. And we see the women now on the stage in the abandoned hangar and basically the fallout of the war, what came after the war. Hangar. The priest was on a kind of stage. Before him was a crowd of women. So now the women are on a stage. And so again, this shows us that before God, we are being judged. So again, we see that this is a test. This is a presentation. This is a, uh, um, an airing of the lives of these, these people with the women representing these guardian angels of these women, of these, of these people, all these people, men and women. All of them dressed in the most varied way. This right here tells us that it, it's everybody. This refers to all people and their mothers, their, i.e. their guardian angels. This, this tells us that we're talking about everybody in, in the entire earth because it's, all of them are dressed in the most varied ways. Rich and poor. Both rich and poor. People who know, people who don't meet, know, people who have, people who don't have. And this is not just physical riches, but you're talking about people who are intelligent or less intelligent, etc. Holding babies in their arms. And holding babies in their arms, meaning that they are supporting the soul of the person through this life. All without exception cried compulsively. But none of the guardian angels are happy. And again, this represents basically all people on this earth. Why are you crying? So he asks, why are you crying? It's not clear. Nobody knows. The people on the, people on the surface, all the, all the people of this earth, don't understand why the angels would be crying. Without saying anything, she just opened a small blanket that wrapped her son and showed him. So she, she then gives up. This is where we're saying that then what we see is signs from heaven. We're given little signs of why the guardian angels of these people might be crying. The child was deformed, seeing that one of them was with an apparently perfect. So the initial child, so he shows that she shows this child, one of the mothers does, and there's noticeable deformations. So in other words, this is that, that the, the guardian angel, or let's say heaven, is able to show these children have noticeable problems. And so there, you can then, these are things that can be demonstrated. It's like, you know, the, the, the heaven is saying, look, this is a, like, for example, um, with the, with the, the politics or the, or the social thinking nowadays in terms of sexual morality, right? You can see this and it, you can show it to somebody and say, this is bad philosophy. This is death. This is killing them. And you can actually see it. Right. But then, he talks to another mother and she shows her child and appears to have a perfect child. Perfect child. The priest asked, This one looks good. Why are you crying? She then said something that made him feel immense anguish. He has something wrong inside. So now this one, what we see is even when somebody, when you can't identify a problem, when it's not something that the, that, that, God is showing you or something you can see on the surface. Oh, I understand why this person is, 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 is in danger of losing their salvation. I understand why this person is, is, is going to hell. When you can't even say that, um, there's still something wrong inside. In other words, there's a deeply, um, there's, there's something deeply wrong with people on this earth right now, where we are. And some of the things can't even be identified. It's so bad. Suddenly, the priest saw the image of the Virgin Mary hovering above all the mothers. 
She had baby Jesus in her arms, and they were both crying. So what we see now is Mary with the baby Jesus, and what we see in this is that she has a baby who's not dying and is not deformed, right? So we have one perfect baby, which is Jesus. And what we're seeing is that they're hovering above all these women, and they're both crying. So they're also crying with the mothers. But um, what is to note here is that is that she's she's holding she's holding her baby um, and feeling immense anguish for these mothers, but not saving them. So I mean, I'm not saying that she wouldn't save them, but that's not what's happening here. What she's doing is she's mourning the loss, and that's the state we're in right now. Nobody's listened to the signs of heaven. They haven't listened to the prophecies. They haven't listened to they have. And people have gone on in pride, and we are now at a place where Mary is comforting and mourning the angels of these humans, and and these humans, and not and they're not being saved. They're still being lost, and so we're in a place where there's almost a general loss. And what we have from heaven is comfort. Their tears fell like a rain of light on these mothers. Then the dream ended. A general overview, what this dream indicates, at least it looks like to me, is it's talking about a general destruction on this earth that almost everybody is encompassed in. All of the guardian angels, all of the spiritual mothers behind the humans of this earth are carrying to term, carrying these babies that are deformed. In other words, that they are, they are sick um, with sin and they're on a path of destruction. They are not in the right way. Most of them you can see and you can demonstrate what that is. Some you can't because it's it's embedded within in some dark um, things that we don't even understand that are that are where people are are um, are basically the general destruction that everybody's in. There's paths that all of the people on earth, including all of the religious, all of the holy people on this earth, are in some really bad paths and doing and, and having bad practices. All in danger of the loss of salvation. And so this is kind of the general message. And, um, but you said, even when somebody looks good, even when something looks like when you watch somebody on TV and you're like, well, this priest is telling us the right message. And that, that's, that may be true, but you really need to hold close to the commandments, not sin, etc., because you'll be led astray by even that which looks like it's teaching you something holy. And that's one of the clear takeaways from this dream. And the war, the war for salvation has already passed. It's over. It's done. In a large, dark place, like an abandoned hangar, the priest was on a kind of stage. Before him was a crowd of women, all of them dressed in the most varied ways, rich and poor, holding babies in their arms. All without exception cried compulsively. Why are you crying? Without saying anything, she just opened a small blanket that wrapped her son and showed him. The child was deformed, seeing that one of them was with an apparently perfect child. The priest asked, This one looks good. Why are you crying? She then said something that made him feel immense anguish. He has something wrong inside. Suddenly, the priest saw the image of the Virgin Mary hovering above all the mothers. She had baby Jesus in her arms, and they were both crying. 